Welcome to Thermal Integration Made Easy, a video and download series that covers everything you need to know about integrating Teledyne FLIR thermal camera modules. Today, we'll be showing you how to set up the Hadron 640R development kit for the Jetson Nano platform. This new plug-and-play solution is designed to help you quickly image and control the Hadron 640R, likely saving you weeks in development time and cost. For more detailed information on the kits, visit fleer.com slash hadron dev kit to access the integrator's guide, which is linked below in the video description. Today, we're going to show you how it all works, so let's get started. With the Avermedia Jetson Nano Kit, the driver and development kit is compatible with the Avermedia D111NO. If you're looking to develop on other Jetson Nano platforms, you might need to make modifications to the driver and this development kit may not be compatible. Please note the Avermedia D111NO kit is not included with the Hadron 640R development kit and must be purchased separately. The Jetson Nano development kit includes the ISP board, an intermediary processing board for pre-processing MIPI video, the universal breakout board, which directly connects to the Avermedia board, a micro coax cable to connect the ISP board to the universal breakout board, and an FFC cable that is used for MIPI connection from the breakout board to the Avermedia board. You will also need to acquire a 9 to 19 volt power supply to power the Jetson Nano and a USB micro B super speed to USB A cable. We will start by plugging in the ISP board into the back of the Hadron 640R. In the next step, we'll plug in the FFC cable into the Avermedia carrier board and breakout board. Make sure that the FFC cable is seated all the way in and locked by the black clips. On the breakout board, lift up the black clip and slide the FFC cable in with the blue strip facing away from the board Again, make sure this is all seated. Next, we will connect the ISP board with the breakout board using the blue micro coax cable. You will also need to connect the USB cable from the Avermedia board to the breakout board. This is to provide power to the board as well as communicate with the IR camera. Once everything is plugged in, install the driver and follow the directions outlined in the instruction manual. You should now be able to stream both visible and IR video directly to the Jetson Nano. With the Hadron 640R, the dual thermal and visible camera makes it ideal for integration to unmanned aircraft systems, unmanned ground vehicles, robotics platforms, and emerging AI-ready applications where battery life and runtime are mission critical. With its game-changing resolution, radiometric features, and flexible output formats, the Hadron 640R provides you with an out-of-the-box platform for integrating Teledyne FLIR's thermal technology. This wraps up our episode on the Hadron 640R dev kit. For additional support, you can find more videos and app notes at flir.com time or visit flir.com slash custhelp for technical support. Be sure to tune in to other episodes to learn more about integrating Teledyne FLIR's thermal camera modules. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.